Sergeant Red's Hall, take one. Hello, I'm going to sharpshoot you. Right. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I posted a video where I went to Sergeant Red's retro toy store up in Utica, Michigan. Down in the description will be links for that video. But what you didn't see was me opening everything that I got there. So, not only will I be opening Wrecker, but I'll be opening Crosshair, The Mandalorian, and showing you some of the vintage figures that I picked up. Let's check out Wrecker. The boisterous bruiser of the Bad Batch, Wrecker has brute strength that makes him capable of lifting a clone gunship without any help. His muscle and size are matched only by his temper and an equally pronounced sense of humor. Alrighty. Let's get into it here. Helmet. Check out the detail on that helmet. And here he is, super detailed, super detailed. Check out the insignias on the shoulders. Let's put the backpack on him. Has a nice form fit. It's, it's kind of rounded back there, so it goes to the round of his back. It's got some cool markings and paint on it so the articulation is pretty wild they got some side-to-side -side head action there the uh, shoulders raise raise and lower the shoulders raise and lower um, the forearm the forearm twists the wrist twists the shins or the legs at the hips twist feet so you can really get some cool poses there he is with the helmet on pretty rough I like to have him holding the helmet kind of a pose when I'm just got him on the shelf I think that's kind of cool um, see if I can get him so kind of like that like he's hanging out at the ready so there's wrecker all right so now we got crosshair let's read up on him formerly a member of the bad batch crosshair's loyalty shift after his team defects from imperial service committed to the empire crosshair leads a new squad of enlisted recruits okay so with crosshair you got his battle pack you've got his sniper rifle He's got a removable pistol in a holster here. I didn't see at first. There it is, little blaster he's got. The, the belt does seem to come off, does move around a lot. Nice head action, this is where it comes down for him to aim. It does articulate down, so that's cool. Um, hands, forearms, shoulders. The little shoulder guards flexible he doesn't have uh any markings from the bad batch on his uh, armor he's got more of a straight up stormtrooper helmet which pops off these are tight fit there he is he's got some gray hair really good detail it's awesome all right so his pack doesn't fit as formed as much as uh, Wreckers did. It's got some red color there. Alright, so you can get his gun in his pack there in the back. But for him, he's going to have to balance it on his arm. He is super tight. Super tight. Could not get his rifle in his hand. Could not get his arm over his helmet. He did not have a lot of room to mess with there so there he is okay Mandalorian 
His body is shielded by Besker armor, his face is hidden behind a T-visored mask, and his past is wrapped in mystery. No one is quite sure who this well-equipped stranger is. We know who he is. So there's the rifle. Look at the detail on that bad boy. Pretty awesome. He's got his custom blaster. He's got the jet pack. Let's pop the helmet. And on this one, the helmet does not come off to reveal Din Jaren at all. Look at some of the articulation. Uh, the, the boots, the feet, the hip joint does pretty decent. The arms raise slightly, not a lot, not as much as Wrecker over there, not as much as Tech. Um, at the elbow, and it's got that little piece that you can that he unlocks before like a shootout, you know, give it that Western vibe. But uh, there he is. I really like the figure. He's cool. Um, the paint work on there is excellent. The fit of some of these items is not the greatest. Um, you know, you're going to display them and not touch them or they're going to stuff's going to fall off. So, there you got Wrecker, Crosshair, the Mandalorian. There they are, Black Series. Put them up. So, here's Princess Leia. Check her out. Super detailed. Got some gold paint on her there. It's got the blaster. We'll pull it out here in a second. Look at this. The printed the printed cape. So here she is out of the package with the blaster. 1980. She is ready for action. Check her out. Check out the gold paint. He's in really good shape. He's got a little bit of wear. He's been played with. So there he is, 1980. So there you go, guys. I am a vintage hunter, but I like some new stuff too. So join me next time as we try to grow the vintage collection. I'll share it with you and hope you enjoy it. And I hope you come back. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time. May the force be with you.